Wow. I mean, that is an eye opener for me. If hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully source cheap and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items come from members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is what it looks like. Almost at 100,000 members. Come join if you're not already there. And I asked them to share their best September Bolo. And this is what it looks like. The post. So you can head over to the Facebook group. The Share Your Best October is up right now. And share a Bolo to be featured in a video just like this. So the first one here, it says... This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Thriftaholic. Now, you do not have to be a Bolo Buddies um, YouTube member to share a Bolo. Anybody can share. However, if you would like the perks, you can join memberships at level two or higher, and that information is down below. So you can check that out if you want, but no pressure. This one comes from Thriftaholic, and this is her YouTube channel. She says, bought boo sign at 25 cent sale at local church, sold this week for $45. And right now is a great time, mid-October, beginning of October, to be listing your Halloween items. I would get them listed much earlier if it were me, if you can, but if you just picked it up, you know, you list it when you can, right? So she said, Halloween sign picked up for 25 cents at church sales and sold it for 45. And this is what it looks like. Now, one question I get a lot is Christmas, Halloween, Easter. Do you list those items all year round? I, yes, I do. Those items sell all year round for me. Do they sell better during when it's getting close to the holiday? Of course but they do sell all year round. So that is my advice. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. That's just, I guess, not my advice. That's my opinion. <laughs> all right, this one also comes from Thr Thriftaholic. I got this out of a free box at a church sale. The front ties together and one side string is missing. It is a pop-up book from Hallmark by Clement C. Moore. A few of the pop-up items are ripped or needed to be taped, but generally in pretty good condition. This one in its damaged condition sold for $30. Just recently found same book in very good workable condition at a garage sale for $1.50 and snagged it. I have it listed for $50. Definitely a bolo. This is what it looks like. I purchased five boxes of vintage silk thread at a thrift store for $4 each. Each box contained 11 to 12 spools of thread. I was going to part them out, but was looking for a quick sale. So I listed each box as its own lot at $60, 12 spools or 54 for 11. The day after I listed two of the lots, a buyer made an offer for 10% off of each and I accepted. I then messaged the buyer that I had three more lots to post and she asked me to make a private listing with the same discount. I did and in the end, she bought all five boxes for a total of $257 plus shipping. Not bad for a $20 investment. And this is what it looks like. So I think sometimes these colors get discontinued and they can do really well. It looks like um, B-E-I-D-I-N-G and then space C-O-R-T-I-C-E-L-L-I. -L -L -I. Silk thread is what the thread is called, all right? The next one, I found four boxes of these. Oh my goodness. She is like the bundle finder. Four boxes of these 1980s muscle men figures at an estate sale for $4 each. Oh, I posted them and they sold the next day to three different buyers for best offer of 80 each plus shipping for a total of $320. 16 and to 320. I love the 80s. Yeah. Um, I would definitely put these on auction. These muscle men, some of them can go for crazy money, but having that original box, oh my goodness, definitely would have auctioned it. I mean, I could be totally wrong. Maybe she did her research and that's what they were the going rate was, but wow, wow, wow. Courtney, you always say that weird sells. Picked up this kitschy 9 by 12 watercolor on the last day of an estate sale for $4 and sold it after a few weeks for the full asking price of $38 plus shipping. Bathing with friends for a win. That is definitely weird. <laughs> 
what on earth? Bathing with a friend. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member uh, Childhood Finds, and this is her YouTube channel. She said, I got at a yard sale for $5 and sold it for a best offer of $80. I love selling hardware like this. It can take a while to sell, but can bring great money. It is an antique FC Lind Crest Kill brass doorknobs set lock with no key. And this is what it looks like. Definitely check her out. She is a Bolo finder and she always brings something really cool to these videos. A state sale find, $12, sold with a discount on my store for $247. It is a Lennox British Colonial Teapot Creamer Sugar Set Tropical Ceramic Bamboo Fisher. And this is what it looks like. At a community sale, I started at one end around 7.30 and made it around 11 a.m. to this barn at almost the end of the road. Walked around in the southern summer heat because I didn't want to put down the wool blanket. A dollar and sold with a discount on my store for $2.09. It's a vintage Pendleton. Pendleton is a great brand. Beaver State. Look. <laughs> what? <laughs> Check it out turtle wool blanket. It's an Iroquois, I-R-O-Q-U-O-I-S. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. You guys can help me out in the chat. I'm sure that you guys would love to leave me some information in the comments about that. I pick up almost every camera I find. At least I comp them. This one was at my Goodwill for 10. Had to get a new battery and charger for 10, which took longer than the return on electronics. Glad it worked and sold in less than a month. It is a Canon Vixia digital camera, camcorder, new battery and charger. So $100 that one sold for. Bolo Buddies member found by chance on pretty much everything. eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. Got this pull string musical plush at a local thrift store. Paid $2.79 for it and sold it on Etsy for $64.95. That is awesome. It's a Dakin musical bear. She said, I have sold three glow worms on Etsy. I found this one at an estate sale for $2.50 and sold it for $59.95. Even though I have my glow worms cross-listed to four platforms, I have managed to sell them all on Etsy for more money than I had them listed for elsewhere. Okay, so let's talk about that. Cross-posting. I use this perfectly. I was cross-posting to Etsy and then life has just gotten crazy with whatnot and... I'm just cross-posting to Poshmark and Mercari. This makes me be like, eyes open. Do I need to get my vintage toys and plush on Etsy? Eek. Um, wow. I mean, that is an eye-opener for me. If you guys are not using, um, well, first off, if you're not cross-posting, I highly recommend it. Um, I use this perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. I'm going to go into my little spiel here. You've heard it before if you've watched me before but I love the service. It's fantastic. Um, they actually just came out with the Pro, uh, Pro Plus plan, I think is what it's called. I just did a video on it. It looks like this. Uh, you have a limited time to get on on a pro promotional offer. It ends October 31st. I don't know if this video will come out before or after, so um, if not, still take a look at that video for all of the new features that are going to be in that plan. But List Perfectly is awesome. But either way, if you use my referral code Bolo Buddies, you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And I do have another video that is a tutorial down in the description of the video. Check that out. See if it's something that is a good fit for you. But definitely getting your items on other platforms. Different people shop on different platforms. I tell you guys that all the time. Etsy, I don't buy a lot on Etsy, but my husband shops on Etsy all the time. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm not big on Etsy. And that's just, I, I don't know. Sometimes I'll go there, but not very often. Do you see what I'm saying? Think about in your mind, where do you shop? Where do you shop? Is it where you sell? Because typically for me, I'm shopping on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari where I'm a seller. Let me know if that aligns with you. And you'll see what I mean. Different people Different buyers on different platforms. All right, let's keep going here. This one is also found by chance. My bigger sale for September 
were outside of eBay. Here is one I made on Poshmark. I got this set of figurines at an estate sale for $1.50 and they sold for $45. It's a 1989 Insco porcelain white gardenia open bloom flower bud hand painted. And this is what it looks like. It looks like she sold it for $45 and after all the Poshmark fees and everything, she got $36. I sold these, this is also found by chance on Poshmark. I sold these glasses that I got in a state sale. I paid 80 for 16 glasses and an ice bucket. I grouped the glasses into sets of four and listed each set in the bucket for around 65, give or take, depending on the platform. This was the last set to sell and I sold it on Poshmark for $69. This is what it looks like. It's four vintage mid-century Culver Prado signed uh, glasses. Now, Poshmark and Mercari, um, both great platforms. You can sell anything, not e not anything and everything, but you know, there's restrictions just like eBay, but it's not just clothing on Poshmark. A lot of people think that hard goods, toys, jewelry, I think honestly, a lot of toys and plush do better on Mercari. Sometimes if they're flooded on eBay, you can get more money on uh, Mercari for those. I've talked about that before. I do have referral links down below for both of those platforms. $10 you'll get if you use my referral link for Poshmark. On Mercari, you'll get $10 to shop and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. And that's my referral link down below. So check those out if you're thinking about it and definitely watch that list perfectly video. I'm telling you, it is hands down so easy to use. I love it. It's great. I walk you through like the fine details and walk you through the process. I'm visual, I wanna see how to do it. So check out that video down below in the description. This one comes from She Picker and she is now on Whatnot. Uh, she had her first show, woohoo, She Picker. It was awesome, she did a great job. And she's also on eBay, YouTube, Poshmark, and Mercari as She Picker. She is a Bolo Buddies member, I appreciate all of you guys that are members and I also want to thank everybody that just shares in this video that's not a member as well. I appreciate the shares guys. Um, that helps teach everybody that's watching new items to be on the lookout for. This is a book written in 1895 for the Church of Latter-day Saints. I had it listed for 250 and accepted an offer for 140. The buyer was a book dealer in Utah. I paid about 10 cents for it and 10 cents in a how much for all the books estate sale. I'm pleased this book made it to its home in Utah and will be loved and appreciated by someone who loves books. And this is what it looks like. A voice of warning, 1895 edition. And she took a best offer of 140. All right. She also found this Linux serving plate at the Goodwill bins and shocked it didn't have any damage. Paid about four and sold for a best offer of 75, had it listed for 96. Linux Autumn Large Octagon Serving Platter. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from She Picker also. She said, found this jelly cat at the Goodwill bins, paid less than $2. I listed it for 125, had a sale and it sold for 75. It's a Jelly Cat London Squiggly Mouse, pink plush, rare and retired. How cute is that? Okay, here is another one from She Picker. She said, I love books, so I always look at them. I'm like, I like books, but I don't look at them. <laughs> like, I don't like trying to figure out when it was released and is it a first print, all of that jazz. Like, I do book sets. I like book sets, but I probably need to look at more books because I see bolos all the time in the book section. Um, okay. I love books, so I always look at them. I found the educational books sell very well. I found this book at the Goodwill store. It was a color of the week sale, so I paid less than a dollar and it sold for $45. Books are a great bolo. Welding for Iron Workers, Iron Worker Quality Practices, Student Workbook 2006. Here is another book. This one is also from She Picker. This is a great historical book of a town in Texas with wonderful old and rare photos. History sells. I also bought this at a how much for all the books estate sale. So paid less than 25 cents. Oak Cliff, Texas book, The Hidden City, Dallas History, late 1800s, rare pictures, 45 bucks. That's good money. That is good money. All right, this one. I bought the first Floby hair trimming system from the local Cat Sanctuaries thrift store for $3. Sold it for $112 plus shipping on eBay. 
It sold quickly in about a day. Whenever I find a bolo at the cat sanctuary, the next time I go shopping there, I give a little extra donation for the cats. So it works out great. From the excitement from this bolo, I was then on the hunt for another Floby and found one on Facebook Marketplace for $10. It was on there for a pickup in another state, but I got the seller to agree to ship it to me, offering an extra five. Plus, I paid 11 for the shipping. So I paid 26 total, but the package had an extra set of hair trimming attachments. I parted out and sold for $13.99 plus $3.99 shipping. That helped lower my total cost. I ended up selling this Floby this time, same day I posted it for $118 plus shipping. Now talk about a good idea. Awesome. All right. I think we are going to stop there and I will have more videos like this coming your way. Lots of September shares. Again, please come over to the Facebook group. Looks like this. Share your big money October bolo to be posted. No, not to be posted. To have your bolo shared in a video like this. October is already up so you guys can go over there and share that bolo. All right. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Come check me out on Whatnot. I am Bolo Buddies, lowercase, all lowercase, one word over there. And you can get $15 to shop with my referral link down below. I hope to see you and thanks for watching. Oh, and if you want to see how some of the live shows work for Whatnot, like what kind of money am I making on the items? Can you get a good deal? You can check out some of my live shows that I've left up. I don't leave them all up because I don't want to like, you know, I'm doing a lot of shows on whatnot. So I don't want to have way too many live shows of what's going on what on whatnot. But like the Goodwill Bins unboxings where I've taken the stuff from the Goodwill Bins from the video, the lost footage, and I throw it in a tote and I sell it. It's uncurated. I'm pulling things out and I'm showing it as I go. So you never know what I'm going to find. So that's kind of fun to rewatch and to kind of see what the item sold for. You can look at it and see, oh, what did she make on it? What would it sell for on eBay? And you can kind of make those comparisons and check it out. So I would love for you to come over to Whatnot and hang out. Even if you don't buy, just come hang out. That referral link is down below. If you want to sell on Whatnot, there's also a referral link for that in the description of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching.